How is it going today? Lola, Lola. this is Dwayne. Me, Jasmine. We're Dwayne Jazz. Today we have for you Hercules versus Sun Wukong. Mm -hmm. Death Battle. We haven't. It's is, the only one we didn't react to. Yeah. Alright. We had to backtrack and see which one we missed. Like, because y'all was like, y'all gotta react to Death Battle. I'm like, what? We saw Oh, no, we didn't. We didn't do this one. <laughs> so if you guys have any reaction requests, please follow social media in the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe. And also check out our Patreon. A little copyright mm -hmm. stuff happening over there, but we're back now. We're back now. So please come on through. We got a lot. <laughs> Of anime over there, check it out. Link in the description below. All right, let's dive on in. Hercules, the god of strength. Sun mm -hmm. Wukong, the monkey king. Mm -hmm. Myth mm -hmm. has many heroes, but few overcome their past to become legendary. Oh, is that what you look like? some <laughs> to beat a boot. He's whiz and I'm boosting. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a, a death, death battle. Mm -hmm. Let's go. He's the man, the myth, the legend. The He's rock. Hercules. <laughs> Stories of Hercules <laughs> exist in many iterations, but we'll examine the earliest known accounts, the legend of Heracles. No Disney zero to mm -hmm. hero, I just like the classic movie. Greek myth. Mm -hmm. And like most ancient Greek stories, it began with Zeus being a total creep. The god of thunder <laughs> did his thing with a princess by mm -hmm. disguising himself as her husband. Oh, what the hell, man? And wow, I didn't know that. The demigod was born. Who was I did not. Alkaos. But Hera was pretty Al pissed Phoebe. who said cheated on her yet again. So Alkaos' human parents renamed him in her honor. Yep, Heracles means glory to Hera. Too bad she had already made up her mind though and that kid was gonna pay. The child mm. would need some way to survive Hera's wrath. So the goddess of heroes carried out a plan that was Father of 51 insane. children. Athena tricked Hera into nursing <laughs> the baby Heracles and her milk gave him supernatural strength unbound. Even beyond many of the gods themselves. So mm. strong that he hurt her and caused her to spray milk all over the place like a boob sprinkler. Which in turn created the galaxy. Yep, that's what huh? we call it, the Milky Way. Oh god, I'm never eating one of those candy bars again. <laughs> no, for real? Like power, Heracles became I did not a know that. warrior <laughs> by the finest instructors in all of Greece. Unfortunately, he wasn't without problems. While he was a natural at boxing, wrestling, fencing, and so much more, he struggled in the arts. He even had a fit and accidentally killed his music teacher. Little did Heracles know this was a he sign was a of a tragedy to come. Many years later, as his name began to be synonymous with the term hero, he murdered his wife, Princess Megara, and their sons. Yeah, oh Hera my had God. magically driven him into a kill frenzy rage, but that didn't excuse it for her. His guilt was there. Desperate to atone, he sought guidance from the Oracle of Delphi. They have all that in the Disney movie. <laughs> to redemption. He would submit himself to King Eurystheus and perform for him ten grueling labors. The guy was a D-bag, but Herc did what he had to, and through his struggles, built a killer arsenal. For his first labor, he was tasked with slaying a lion whose hide could not be pierced by any blade. So Herc mm. just beat the lion to death with his bare hands <laughs> and took the belt as armor for himself. Wow. He defeated a flock of metal, man-eating birds with Cortalas so loud no living thing could bear the noise. He battled a multi-headed hydra, cauterizing its necks after each decapitation so the heads would not grow back. A lot of sliced off heads meant a lot of blood spilled, and mm -hmm. hydra blood is extra poisonous. Even gods fear it, so Herc dipped his arrows in the stuff for later use, like when he used them to take out centaurs, titans, and even the sun. Uh, sort of. The details of the smith differ, but in some versions, Herc was so <laughs> Fed up with the desert heat, he fired an arrow at the sun, the physical embodiment of the god Helios. I guess that's one way to cool off. Take that, global warming! <laughs> to reach the sun, his arrow would have to fly 90 times faster than light. The maximum draw weight of a typical recurve bow is about 40 pounds, shooting an mm -hmm. arrow 300 feet per second. Shooting one faster than light would require strength incomprehensible to mortals such as us. Anyway, Herc completed his labors, but the king was a sore loser and axed two of them for cheating. Because Herc was what? a lot more clever than he expected. Heracles mm -hmm. received two more tasks, one of which required he retrieve the golden apples of his which, ironically, originally belonged to Hera. As part of his plan, Heracles would temporarily take on the role of the Titan Atlas, as bearer mm. of the heavens. 
That sounds exhausting. More than you think, dummy. They might well, be a modern art legend yep. Atlas Yeah, the, the Atlas like, the challenge. The perceived his burden as a celestial sphere. This would mean Heracles supported the weight of not just the Earth, but the whole universe. Mm. Like, I'm holding up this entire show. <laughs> the common view of the time was that the universe was endless. Even chaos, the primordial origin of everything, was boundless. Meaning... Heracles held up the weight of conceptual infinity. Everything. Luckily, Herx got one hell of a drive to persevere and to make amends. Like when he met King Admetus, he got to party it up and was too drunk to realize the king was in a really bad state because his wife had just died. Reminds mm. me of someone. Can't imagine who. Well, Herx <laughs> felt bad, so he decided to make it up to his bro by literally beating up the god of death until he returned Admetus' wife. And that's true best friend material. Wiz. Heracles what? frequently surprised others with his wit, particularly with finding solutions hidden in plain sight. For example, when he wrestled Antaeus, a giant who was invincible so long as his feet were on the ground, Heracles simply picked him up and strangled him in the air. Even giants and the god of death couldn't end his story. Instead, he was tricked into putting on a shirt covered in that hydra blood and it totally screwed him up. What a BS way to go. Yeah. It's also a testament to how a contest of power could not defeat him. Racked with unbearable pain and burning at a pyre, Heracles called to the deities who had watched his story unfold. And so, as his mortal form returned to ash, Heracles ascended to Mount Olympus. Where he was welcomed as the god of strength. Even Hera lightened up. His life may have been <laughs> one of strife and struggle, but on that like day, <laughs> all the world was left in awe of the legend of Heracles. Wow, that was a lot darker than I thought Man, it was. That I was never... darker than the Disney version. There once the Disney was version left out a lot of that warrior, stuff. Yeah. Born of a mystic stone from the energy of the sun and moon. Upon birth, he graciously bowed to the cardinal directions and shot lasers from his eyes. Strap in, oh. folks. This one's a new super the monkey. He soon befriended oh a God. band of other primates and He's a thousand years old. He named himself their handsome monkey king. But after a few centuries of monkeying about, Goku. he got a taste of the mm. dreaded <laughs> midlife crisis. You see, the monkey king was fierce and brave, yet he feared death. So he ventured to new lands in search of immortality. Turns out he'd find a lot of it. Training under the Taoist master Puti, he earned his first method of immortality. And a That's day, what I'm looking for. The, the game. Yeah, to the void, cool. Spoken as Sun Kong. He also mm -hmm. learned a bunch of magic. He can ride clouds, make thousands of clones, heal from fatal wounds like decapitation, and transform <laughs> into basically anything. A bird, some vapor, a pitchfork, even an incredible fighting temple. With his famous what? cloud somersault, he could traverse the world at incredibly high speed. Yo, the they tried, guys. The somersault could carry him 108,000 <laughs> li. Li being a traditional Chinese unit oh equal to about God, 500 so meters, making one somersault 54,000 <laughs> kilometers per second. Fast enough to circle the entire Earth in one leap. And he'd only get faster from there. Monkey would do whatever it took to prove mm. he was the best. Okay, that game to come out, bro. fighting the mighty deity Prince Nocha, his foe transformed into a more powerful visage with three heads and six mm. arms. But Sun was like, hey, I can do that too, and <laughs> then did just that. Sun Wukong eventually returned to his simian subjects, and with his newfound power, amassed a veritable army. However, mm. he felt no weapon in their arsenal suited him. So he barged into the Dragon King's palace and demanded he hand over a weapon worthy of a king who could match the power of heaven. Yeah, Sun was pretty full of himself, but Where he these wound up like taking a, a pillar on. originally designed no. to measure the depths of the ocean. <laughs> what seemed like a worthless rod to the Dragon King was actually the perfect weapon for Wukong. Weighing nearly eight tons, the Rui Jingu Bang can change size at his whim. Mm. It can shrink to the size of a needle or grow long enough to pierce the heavens. Mm. The same heavens that got pretty mad with Sun after he crossed his name out of the Ledger of Death, making himself <laughs> double immortal. Wait, how does that work? And even more what? mad when he demanded to be formally acknowledged as the great sage equal to heaven. Okay, we've got a headstrong goofball who quickly right. masters new powers and wants a fancy title. This is just shown in anime. Goku. Now, the Goku, yep. may what have name out, name. but it was because when he requested a place in heaven, a place he truly believed he deserved, the Jade Emperor's court reduced him to a stable boy. Beneath all his antics, what Sun wanted most was to prove himself. Even with all the shenanigans, the Jade Emperor remained cautious and willing to placate Wukong by making him the watchdog of the Garden of Immortal Peaches. 
He totally ate that shit, didn't he, Wiz? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wukong got hammered, ate most of the peaches, ran around the Jade Palace in a fit, and found five gourds of immortality pills, which he promptly swallowed. All of them. Okay, so But wasn't he able to... How many layers of immortality Right, I was say, was he I'd already say immortal? Hundred, thousand? If you count each individual peach and pill. When he sobered up, he knew he was in serious trouble. So, oh my God. naturally... He prepared for war. Wow, that escalated quickly. <laughs> what? what are you gonna do? Kill him? So the monkey king <laughs> proved too him. strong for heaven. He battled all their best fighters and even matched Erlong Shan blow for blow in an epic battle of transformations. He's that guy with the what? third eye. And heaven's greatest <laughs> holy warrior. Yet no matter Erlong's form, Wukong always had a counter. Until Lao Tzu threw in a convenient plot MacGuffin that captured the monkey. But even with Wukong in chains, heaven had a problem. He just wouldn't die! Lightning, <laughs> fire, even Lao Tzu's de-immortalizing furnace just made the monkey stronger! Now, mm -hmm. Wukong is not invincible. He has been hurt by the scorpion demoness's poison, which could even harm the Buddha, an awakened mm -hmm. divine being liberated from the cycle of life and death entirely. Now tell me, how painful is that? Pain is all in the mind, and I am absent of mind. Oh, God! Oh, no, I was wrong! It's bad! It's really bad! It's really bad! Oh, God, make it stop! Uh, but even after all that, Sun had one more challenger to contend with. The Buddha himself! Buddha approached Wukong with a contest, leap out of his hand, Look and he this. could have the Jade oh Emperor's throne for himself. Having no impulse control, the monkey agreed, and in an instant somersaulted to the very edge of heaven. But he had already lost. Because Buddha achieved Nirvana, he transcended the world literally holding all of existence. So even at the edge of the universe, Wukong technically never left his hand. For his rebellion, Sun was put in timeout, sealed under a mountain for 500 years. But even Sun, so, Wukong there. would find a chance at redemption. In his case, he was tasked with escorting and protecting a monk, Tan Song Zong, or Tripitaka, on a journey to the west. With additional companions, Pigsy and Sandy, the trip was a tough one, and Monkey abandoned it more than once. But through it all, he always returned to shine as the group's powerhouse, saving Tripitaka's life many, many times. Seriously, this guy could not stay out of trouble. It's like whiz on a blind date. Ahem. Wukong has cracked <laughs> apart mountains, slayed hundreds of monsters, and survived the yellow wind demon storm that could destroy the universe. Mm -hmm. As in heaven, earth, the 18 layers of hell, and more. That's cool and all, whiz, but let's answer the real question. Can he beat Goku? Um... Maybe. Maybe. During his journey, Wukong performed possibly his most legendary feat, holding up Mount Sumeru, which, in traditional Mahayana Buddhism, <laughs> is a mountain supporting the infinite cosmic sky. And Sun just hauled it around on one shoulder. Just one! Because on his other shoulder was a whole other mountain! After 14 years of travel, There's the no journey way. was complete, and Wukong had finally accomplished a truly great deed. For this, he was given his long-awaited place among the heavens. As the victorious fighting Buddha! Now that's gotta be an anime. After so much time <laughs> as a rebel, an outcast, and a truly unstoppable warrior, Sun Wukong had, at last, found his home. That was a lot. Like, both of their stories this is wild. are wild. Body. Being immortal and right. didn't want to die and <laughs> holding mountains. I'm like, what? <laughs> And our tale begins atop a great mountain where the mighty Heracles sought a gift from the gods. Oh there! Huh? I'm in need of that apple. Relinquish it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm supposed to find my master some vegetarian food. You'll find it elsewhere. Mm. <sighs> if I guess I'll find Boy, who you got? Heracles um, is not so Son of Wukong, it's in like he's not gonna die. Yeah. So. We'll go with Hercules just cause. <laughs> yeah. The monkey king strike rang true. No, oh, that looks so cool. That's a cool different animation. Right. Yeah. They got narrator too? Yeah. <laughs> it's like an old myth or like yeah. a legend. Dang. Uh oh. <laughs> he is. And he doesn't hurt against poison? Yeah, poison. If it had poison darts on it, then maybe. It does, I think. 
He's not dead, so... No. The Monkey King fell into a strange forest, in awe at such a wondrous fight. But should he mistake his fear, he might lose his head. Mm. He's gonna return. Ooh, I haven't had such fun since I fought all of heaven. Chain! <laughs> Behold me! The immortal Monkey King! Huh. Multiple heads. Of course. Mm -hmm. so, watch this! Your fun beast, but I've had enough. Dang. Mm, that was kind of cool. That was cool. So is it a draw? In heavens above, the gods witnessed their earthbound selves, mm. and so joined in that. Oh, so their the celestial selves are fighting now. Olympus, yeah. A great sage harnessed power equal to heaven. Mm -mm. Thus. A new universe was born. <laughs> the Monkey King emerged victorious. Oh. oh. Wow, would you look at that? He doesn't die. He struck him so hard he was reduced to nothingness. <laughs> With a formidable foe slain, stricken against the mountain's breast, so ends our great tale of East and West. I mean, the monkey doesn't die. Like, how is he supposed to? I don't know, bro. That was fun, though. Heracles was among the greatest heroes in myth, but the great sage equal to heaven held many more advantages. You'd think son might not measure up to the god of strength, you know, strength, but mm -hmm. he totally could. Remember, he carried Sumeru on his back, the mountain holding up the infinite celestial sky, like how Heracles held up the infinite celestial sphere. As mm -hmm. the fitting heroes of myth, they were on par in that they were both incomprehensibly strong. However, Wukong's healing abilities meant he could bounce back from Heracles' deadliest blows, He's not gonna whereas die. Heracles did not have a similar option. But mm -hmm. Heracles did have one way of putting the Monkey King down. His arrow dipped in Hydra right. Poison. Mm -hmm. The Hydra Poison threatened even the gods of Olympus, similar to the Scorpion Sting. Whether or not it would be fatal is questionable, but it could have incapacitated Wukong, similar to how it affected Heracles himself. But mm -hmm. that is one very specific win condition, and we're looking at this with every possible option in mind. With his mm -hmm. variety of clones, transformations, and numerous other spells, Wukong's arsenal was far more versatile. Like, mm -hmm. there was nothing stopping him from making thousands of clones of himself and just, just sitting well, they beat up Herc for it. Right. Unsportsmanlike? Sure. In character? Absolutely. Yes. Even then, those arrows would have to actually strike Wukong, which would be extremely difficult. Because he's yes, bad. In some depictions, Heracles could potentially shoot the son of Helios, right. his mm -hmm. arrows flying 90 times the speed of light. However, in his contest with the Buddha, Wukong leapt to the edge of the universe in a single second. To do so, he had to be moving over 1.4 quintillion times faster than light, mm -hmm. making him way faster than Herc could ever Ever hope to be. Heracles held might of mythic proportions, but barring a lucky shot, Sun Wukong's versatile magic, similar strength, and absolutely absurd speed overcame this foe. Yeah. For heaven's equal. When mm -hmm. fighting Sun Wukong, Heracles missed his chance. The oh winner my God. is the monkey. These puns be crazy. I know. All right. That was fun. I like that. That was a cute that was a nice one. That was animation. a cute one. Right? I like that. I like, I like how the they narrator. had the narration and yeah. how it was like fighting within the scroll and like him hitting the top of the scroll and coming back down. That was fun. Files. That was cool. That was, fun. That was a cute but little one. But Sun Wukong was going to win because who? how can he die? This man's eating immortality. First of all, he already x his name out of the thing. The out death, of the death ledger. Yeah. yeah. So he can't the die. The death note. Then, yeah, for real. And then he was eating the things that made uh, like him live Immortal. longer. So I'm like, is it's layers it's on layers. Right. Of how's not how's dying. Hercules supposed to stop a guy that's immortal? And with Hercules, magic. Hercules don't have that. No, he Hercules died from has strength. He died from a poisonous rope. <laughs> like, imagine going out, you putting on some like Gucci or Louis, and you just die, bro. Right? Hey, dude, look at this. Look at this beautiful Hercules. Look at this beautiful, so, beautiful Versace robe. Hey, I got a little. Ah! <laughs> hey, 
right? <laughs> Such a bad way to die. And then your father shapes your man to my husband. That's wild. You're wild. Zeus is wild, bro. Yeah, I didn't know it was that bad. That's why Disney changed it. Yeah, they changed it. They, 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 they romanticized that. Oh, he ain't, no, he ain't a bad father, but he ain't that, but like that bad compared to the book. You're like, damn. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, comment below. Let's go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This is.